uh, wage properly, hindi sila nasusuweldohan ng tama ang mga tax collectors. Kaya binigyan sila ng pagkakataon na sila ay kumuha sa mga buwis ng tao ng panahon yun during the biblical times. Kaya lang, ang mga iba sa kanila, ang mga maliningil ng buwis, ang ginawa nila, nag-overprice sila ng buwis. That means, mas maraming buwis na babayaran, mas maraming kickback. Hallelujah! <laughs> Kaya sa kanilang pagkikikbak, mga kapatid, yumayaman sila. Yan ang buhay ng mga maniningil ng buwis ng mga panahon noon. Ayan. Kaya mga kapatid, these tax collectors, during Jesus' time, during the ministry of the Lord, how many years Jesus uh, nangaral ang ministeryo ng Panginoon? Ilang taon ang sinagkataong tao? 33. No? Three years? From the age of 30? Three years. No? Until 33, nang siya ipako. Amen. Nang siya'y nangangaral ng salita ng Diyos, maraming mga maniningil ng buwis. And during that time, the tax collectors, they are not naturally, they're not naturally born as Romans. They are Jews. Mga Hudyo po sila. Kaya ang mga tao noon, ang mga residente noon, doon, mga taga-Roma, the Romans, they're not happy. They were not happy to give their taxes to the tax collectors. Why? Because they are Jews. Hindi nila sila kamukhang Romano. Kaya wala silang tiwala sa mga maniningil ng buwis. Kaya ang tingin nila sa mga maniningil ng buwis, mga kapatid, makasalanan. Bakit po? That is the stigma. Yan ang label sa kanila. Sila na mga maniningil ng buwis dahil alam nila, kung sila'y maniningil ng buwis, tiba-tiba sila. Amen? Now, brothers and sisters, What is the relation of the tax collectors to us being we are talking about the the tithes and offerings purihin ng Panginoon you know brothers and sisters we were not tax collectors right but we were not different from these tax collectors why because we were also sinners like them kagaya din natin silang makasalanan Ngunit sa biyaya ng Diyos, dumating ang kahabagan ng Diyos sa atin. Niligtas tayo ng ating Panginoon sa kabila ng ating mga uh, makasalanang buhay, mga kapatid. Kinahabagan tayo ng Diyos. But my question is, what is the right attitude when it comes to giving? The reason why I chose the tax collectors being the subject of this exhortation, it is because there are these attitudes of a tax collector na kinulugdan ng Diyos. Despite of them being tax collectors, sinners slash tax collectors, still, our Lord justified them. Yes. To God be all the glory. Number one, humbleness. That is one of the attitudes when it comes to giving. Giving our tithes and offerings. I'd like to give you an example. In the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 10, To 14. Ayan. Kilala nyo ba ang mga pariseyo? Amen. Ang mga pariseyo, mga doktor ng kautusan yan. Amen. They preach, but the thing is, they do not do what they preach. It says here, brothers and sisters, let us read this in Tagalog. To God be all the glory. Ang pariseyo ay nakatayo at nanalangin. Oh, may dalawang lalaking nagsipanhig sa templo upang magsipanalangin. Ang isa'y pariseyo at ang isa'y maniningil ng buwis. Ang fariseo ay nakatayo at nanalangin sa kanyang sarili ng ganito. Diyos, pinasasalamatan kita na hindi ako gaya ng ibang mga tao na mga manglulubig, mga liko, mga mapangalunya o hindi man lamang gaya ng maniningil ng, ng buwis na ito. Ang tindi ng fariseo ito, no? Nananalangin siya, ngunit sinusumbatan niya yung maniningil ng buwis. Oh. Makalawa akong nag-aayuno sa isang linggo. Nagbibigay ako ng ikapu ng lahat kong kinakamtan. Aminado naman siya. Nag-iikapu siya talaga. No? Kaya sundan natin ang pagbasa. That of what, this is the attitude of the tax collector. No? Di ba? The Pharisee was comparing himself to the tax collector. But this is, ito ang sitwasyon ng maniningil ng buwis. That of what, ang maniningil ng buwis na nakatayo sa malayo ay ayaw na itingin man lamang ang kanyang mga 
pagbata sa langit, kundi dinadangkukan ang kanyang dibdib na sinasabi, Diyos, ikaw ay mahabag sa akin na isang makasalanan. Purihin ang Panginoon. Mga kapatid, kahit ang pariseyo ng tagapagturo ng kautusan, no? pinagmalaki pa niya na nagbibigay siya ng kanyang ikabu. Ngunit ang isang maniningil ng buwis, yamang alam niya na siya ay makasalanan. No, mga kapatid, na nakita ng Panginoon ang kapakumbabaan ng kanyang puso. Kaya nga sabi dito, sundan natin ang pagbasa. Sabi nito, sinong nagsasalita dito? Pabasahin natin ang salita ng Diyos. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, na naog at umuwi sa kanyang bahay ang tao ito na inaaring ganap kaysa isa. Sapagat ang bawat nagmamataas sa kanyang sarili ay mabababa. Datapuat ang nagpapakababa sa kanyang sarili ay matataas. Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya dito natin makikita, it is not, it is not enough that we fulfill our obligation when it comes to giving our tithes and offerings. But our Lord is seeking such attitude coming from the heart no? sa ating Diyos. And number one is humbleness. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, we are encouraged that whenever we offer our tithes and offerings, ito pala'y dapat hindi maging paghatol. Gaya ng pareseyo, <laughs> dun sa isang makasalanan. I'd rather be the tax collector than the Pharisee. Bakit po? Even though I do it, but God did not see the humbleness in me. Mga kapatid, mas kinalulugdan pala ng Diyos ang may pagpapakumbaba. Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya number one, what is the right attitude of giving? We should have this humbleness. Because if we are not humble, we are making ourselves self-righteous. And self-righteousness, hindi po yan kinalulugdan ng Diyos. Amen? Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya mga kapatid, if we will read in 13, let's go back to 13. Dito natin makikita kung paano ang maniningil ng buwis, even though He, know, he knows, no? He's the sinner of them all. The Lord justified him. The Lord. Do you want to be justified? Amen. Amen. Gusto ba natin tayo, ariing ganap tayo ng Diyos? Amen. We must set this heart, this humble heart before our God. Amen. Amen. Puri ng Panginoon. Now, number two, since we are talking about tax collector, there is this another example. May isang maniningil na naman ng buwis. No? If we will go to second chapter, chapter 19, I'd like to read this to you. Verses 1 to 6. Let us read in NIV. Dito po kasi sa Jericho. Dito sa lugar ng Jericho. Merong ditong pinakamayaman na maniningil ng buwis. Dumaan na ba ito sa inyo? Sino? Si Am Alam niyo ba? Kilala niyo ba ito? Maliit lang siya na tao. Zacchaeo. Amen. Purihin ang Panginoon. Let us read. Oh. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. Napakayaman niya. Ilang kitbang kaya yan. <laughs> Amen. He wanted to see who Jesus was. But because he was sure, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down. Immediately, I must stay at your house today. Do you ever wonder why that very wealthy chief tax collector, kilala siya, namayaman siya, pinayaman siya sa mga sa kickback niya. But, can we see that Lord, our Lord is not playing any favoritism there? Yeah. Mga kapatid, anong sabi ng Panginoon? Huh? Zacchaeus, come down immediately. Sabi niya sa five, I must stay at your house today. Kailangan kong pumunta sa iyong tahanan ngayon. Hello. 
Lord. Do you ever wonder why the Lord wanted to go to the house of Zacchaeus? Glory to God. Now, let us continue reading the verses. To God be all the glory. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Sumunod siya sa Panginoon. Bumaba siya doon sa sycamore na puno. And what he did, what was his condition of, of the heart? He welcomed our Lord Jesus Christ. Kung hindi niya pinaniwalaan ang sinabi ng Panginoon, bababa ka ba sa puno? No. Kung hindi niya pinaniwalaan ang Panginoon, susundan mo ba ang sinabi ng Panginoon? What he did, he welcomed our Lord joyfully. Lord. Gladly. And this implied that Zacchaeus came to his faith. Amen. To God be all the glory. So we'll continue on reading. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Makasalanan yan eh. Makasalanan yan eh. Bakit? Ang Panginoon. Makasalanan ito eh. Oh. Mga kapatid, but Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look Lord, here and now, I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times. Praise the Lord. Lord. Mga kapatid, Zacchaeus, who was a sinner, the very wealthy tax collector, he welcomed Jesus in his life. He repented. Amen. He did not just repent, but he responded to this repentance. Kaya anong ginawa niya immediately? Ang sabi niya mga kapatid, Here and now, I give half of my possessions. Can you see the response to the salvation he received? Amen. Mga kapatid, siya na niligtas ng Panginoon, it resulted to generosity. Amen. Therefore, we as believers of Christ, we as the saved, mga kapatid, we have this generosity in our hearts. Kaya unang-una, unang-una talaga, na sagana sa pagbibigay, sa pagkakaloob, sa pagganap sa utos ng pag-ikap po, ay yaong mga iniligtas ng Panginoon. Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya mga kapatid, sabi dito, half of my possessions, that is more than 10%. Can we ever imagine how help, how wealthy he was? Handa siyang ibigay niya yung kalahati. At sa lahat ng kanyang na, kumbaga eh, naisahan, ayan, pagdating sa paniningil ng buwis, oh, apat na beses niyang babayaran sila. Mga kapatid, that is the result of the salvation he received from our Lord. Purihin ng Panginoon. And so, if we will continue on reading, Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house. The Lord. Because this man too is a son of Abraham. The Lord. He did not give the half of all his possessions and four times for those he disadvantaged because he know, because he knows he will be saved. No. Salvation came to him first. The Lord. And this resulted to give general, generously. Yes. To God be all the glory. Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya mga kapatid, we do have this joy in salvation. Yes. Amen? We have this joy in giving. And this generosity is the kind of open-handed generosity that characterizes those hearts that have been transformed by the gospel. And I believe so. We are all transformed by the gospel. Glory to God. To God be all the glory. Kaya nga, despite of all the challenges in life, maybe financially or whatever challenge, we always wanted to give generously Amen. to our God. Amen. Napakaganda ng awitin kanina eh. Glory to God. No? Habang nakaluhod, I was thinking of myself as a tax collector, that I was a sinner. Hindi ako karapat-dapat ng biyaya ng Diyos. 
Hindi ako karapat dapat ng pag-ibig, ng kahabagan, ng katapatan ng Diyos. Ngunit pinili niya ang mga makasalanan. Amen? Upang tayo kahabagan. And I wouldn't ask the tax collector Zacchaeus why he felt that way. Because he's saved. Because he was saved. He's able, he's, he's wanting to give everything what he could give. Amen. 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 To God be all the glory. And so, sabi nga sa Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9, beloved brothers and sisters, it is not the half of the possession, the four times payment, the reparation that will save Zacchaeus. But what saved Zacchaeus? For it is by grace you have been saved. Amen. Through faith. And this is not from yourselves. Amen. This is the gift of God. Not by works. So that no one can boast. Praise the Lord. And, you feel, and when you feel unworthy of the saving grace of God, won't you do everything for God? Kapag alam mo na hindi ka karapat dapat, gagawin mo sana ang lahat para maging kang karapat dapat ng Diyos. And I know this is what you feel. Right? You'd like to give your best to our God. Purihin ang Panginoon. To God be all the glory. Kaya mga kapatid, ang tunay na niligtas na ng Panginoon, mayroong kagalakang magkaloob sa Diyos. Amen. Well, let us say, Amen! amen. Let us say, amen. amen! To God be all the glory. Da dahil tayo ay nagkakaloob ng mayroong pagpapasalamat. Pagpapasalamat at pagpupuri sa Diyos. And so, what attitude do we need uh, to set our hearts with? First, we must be humble. Amen. When we give to God, we must be humble. Amen. Amen. When we give to God, we must be generous. Amen. Because God is so generous to us. Kani na nga sa paglalambay eh, papunta dito, na pagbubulayan namin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Imagine. Oh, hindi mo pa ma maaring ang mga iba dito, hindi pa hiningi, but God made a way for you to become residents of New Zealand. Napakabuti ng Diyos. Purihin ang Panginoon, hindi tayo karapat dapat. We are not even qualified. But can you see how generous God is? He is able to bless us generously. And so this is how we should be before our God when it comes to our giving. And mga kapatid, we prove to God and we show our gratefulness. When you feel grateful, you are very generous. Yes, that is very true. Amen? We prove to God or we show our thanksgiving to Him for all He has done to us. First, for the salvation we receive through our Lord. Amen. We acknowledge Him as our great God. Amen. 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 Who is merciful to us sinners. Kaya mga kapatid, those who have been transformed by the gospel, I know you are so excited Amen. to give humbly and generously your tithes and offerings. Let us all rise. Praise God. Let us